what is up YouTube? Thought I would cover this topic video here quickly while it's near midnight and I'm meal prepping before going into the office tomorrow. At a very uh, busy uh, weekend, I took the kids uh, camping, um, but if stealth camping they call it in, I think it's called stealth camping because it's legal to randomly uh, rock up to some sort of unknown forest. We took the kids camping over the weekend and as you can imagine very busy getting two of them in to the campsite with a lot of uh, gear back and forth but it was a good night but unfortunately as most cabins go you get no sleep and we came back to on Sunday a house is a mess where to do a lot of housework um, and we had to sort of recover from that night which meant it kind of lagged on the next day when it came to me not being prepared for meal prep because let's face it when you come back on a Sunday and you've got so much to do you need to get the kids showered ready for school do their lunches dinner and um, the idea of then you prepping your own meals is uh, pretty uh, <coughs> daunting. So this is a this is an example of how you could prep on the go. Um, when it comes to if you're not exactly prepared, whipping something up quite quickly. Now I'm uh, very much of a realist in this uh, sense because I understand that it is hard. Like. When it's a busy, when you've had a busy day, and the idea of then spending another hour in the kitchen meal prepping your own shit is uh, infuriating <clears throat> and not attractive whatsoever. I'm going to show you a few things that I do um, that you can also potentially maybe get something out of um, that might work. So this first meal here I'm doing. So daily at the minute because I'm in an off season. Now my goal is very bodybuilder specific, as you might know if you've watched my videos. Please watch my videos. Please go back and subscribe and watch my videos. You might know that I'm a natural bodybuilder and nutrition is the main key for me. It's my main arsenal, right? Um, so I need to get the nutrition and training. Everything needs to be 100% tied in. So i very cautious what I put in my body. Well, I say that throughout the weekdays and the meals throughout the day I am. Obviously nighttime when I'm chopping down a liter of ice cream. For no reason other than mouth pleasure. Ooh. Then that's a complete lie, I'm telling you. But normally anyway, I'm very cautious what I put in my body. I need to make sure I hit all my macronutrition goals throughout the day. So I need to make sure I can do this. And if I am on the go and I can't prep, you know, very luxurious meals and fancy shit, then I need to do this. So <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to do is I take about seven meals a day. So I'm gonna show you how exactly I prep maybe four meals during the workday, quite swiftly. So the first meal I'm doing here is, um, it's a shake, right? Easiest thing for me, because when I get up in the mornings, I'm gonna have to take kids to nursery and then have to drive into work. Um, because it's one of my uh, in-office days, um, it's into the city, so it's it's a ball ache. It is an ache in my balls doing that journey every day. So I need to figure out a different way of doing it, a, a more efficient way. If I was to get into work and straight away start eating, um, it delays me of getting the rest of my meals in for at work. And being that the meals are very large at the minute, it's it's a pain just getting it all in. So what I do here is the first meal is a shake that I can drink as soon as I wake up when I'm driving, getting the kids to nursery, I'm engulfing calories. While I'm doing that, um, it's very easy to be able to. Uh, consume a meal on the go and then around 10 o'clock I can have my second breakfast because I'm like a hobbit I have multiple breakfasts three or four and right here as well I'm prepping my eggs boiling them so in the morning when it comes it's very easy I'm gonna have them peeled I can just open them and work in the microwave it's done again it's a quick, a quick enough prep right I'm not having to put ovens on a cooking a simple egg uh, machine is good enough so this first meal, I'm just using oatmeal, milk, peanut butter, protein, simple enough. And I blend that and I drink that, okay? Now, the second meal, obviously, if I just showed, was just me prepping eggs. Again, very easy. That is not difficult. Then I would have turkey rashes and a bagel. Again, the turkey rashes aren't hard to prep. Put it in the air fryer for three minutes and then I take them to walk in the top of wire. And I can just reheat it. It's not difficult. You know, it's, these are really basic stuff. You know, I'm not prepping a... Uh, they fucking roast. It's just simple stuff 
and it's effective for the, the you know my nutrition goals so when i do that the second meal then for example i'm going to show you now because i've got the top wars here um <clears throat> So sometimes it is hard for me, I know you can't see me in the camera, but I'm in my fridge. Sometimes it's difficult for me again to sort of get that dried at the minute, just because life's so hectic to, you know, sit down and start putting ovens on or, you know, putting stuff in even air fresh. It feels like a daunting task, I don't know about you. So at the minute, packets of cooked chicken is the easiest thing. Not only packets of cooked chicken, but packets of rice as well. And you can get the cheapest stuff, 40p, 30p. Again, this is so this is the easiest meal to prep. All I need to do is shove this cooked chicken in a, a plastic device container with, and then heat the rice up and work and that's it done. Now you may say, oh, but that's a born meal. Well, beggars can't be choosers. You decided to not be prepared for this, so you suffer the consequences. Now, obviously you can bring sauces into work or whatever. Um, but, you know, meal prep, doesn't matter what your goal is, if it's mine specifically bodybuilding, yours might be just to be healthy or fat loss. It's the same thing applies, right? I mean, it's, it is the same real motive. You wanna be somewhat prepared. Now you may need to stop in the shop in the morning. Maybe you've really screwed up and you're like, fuck, I haven't prepped at all. Then, you know, there's still ways to go in the shop. Um, I would avoid that. I would still try to make something in the house because when you get to the shop, I know what you're gonna do. You're gonna look and go, okay, well, here's maybe a sandwich. Oh, there's a protein bar. Oh, oh no, oh, there's a Mars bar three pack. I might as well bring them in. You fucked up already. So this is the easiest thing to do. I'm using stuff in the house. You know, there's really a lot of easy things you can do as well. You can get a muffin or a bagel. You could buy a packet of ham in the shop, put it in. You know, ham's got good protein in it. Bagel's a good carb source. You know, think everything doesn't need to be, you know, I, when I grew up, you know, started to do this, I thought everything had to be very specific towards, oh, it's only chicken and rice, chicken, chicken and rice. And if you watch my previous videos, you know how I've transitioned from that. Now I still eat chicken and rice. But I also eat steak and potatoes, chicken and potatoes, uh, various different meals I'll use, um, you know, throughout the day. It's not just three meals of chicken and rice. Again, yogos might be different. But it's just, this is an example anyway to show. Now, I will do a video shortly on a full day of eating to show you what I do engulf into my system if you'd be interested to see that. But for now, this is an example of how I quickly meal prep. Um, again, this stuff really isn't that difficult. I mean, the fact that, you know, we you can make video content out of this. People overcomplicate everything. I mean, everything in the industry is overcomplicated at the minute, you know, from exercise selections, um, everyone speaks in absolutes, and to nutrition. Find the meals that you digest really well. It sits in you something like, mmm, that digests well for me. Um, a meal that is relatively whole food, it's not too processed. I mean, process is not the end of the world, but you don't want to be constantly consuming pre-made shit in a packet that may have multiple ingredients. Although if it's just an ingredient that's been maybe like, I mean that packet of chicken is technically processed because it's cooked and chopped up and it's still chicken. Um, but relatively enough, if you stick to your sort of whole foods, you know what foods are good. And ultimately in your head, you know what foods are good. Try to just implement them as much into your day. And if it is the case you have a busy schedule like me, then just think to yourself, what is the most realistic way that I can churn this out every day? Because the goal to succeed, well, the, 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 the objective to succeed your goals is how much you can kind of like knock at this door over a long period of time, right? How consistent you can be. It's not consistent on it three weeks and then get results. It's how long you can potentially do this day and day. Right? It's cliche to say it's a lifestyle choice, but it's a lifestyle choice. So here's a few tips. That's a few tips anyway for the main prep. If you liked the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I will do a video soon of a full day of eating on my book off season. If you're interested to see that, please comment below. Let me know. But until the next time, and Carl from Mark's Den, have a terrific, terrific evening, day, or afternoon, depending on where you are.